Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be talking about the Pokemon anime because we have four new Pokemon titles and synopsis to go over for the next four episodes. And as well as that, we also have a new small trailer going over the Pokemon movie, the movie Coco or whatever it's called, coming out hopefully soon. I don't even know because of the virus and everything, but a lot of stuff to cover today. So if you are excited for the video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit five. 500 likes make sure to leave a comment as well what are you most excited for about in the anime obviously we've got the darkest day situation coming up and then obviously we've got the movie as well so tell me what you're excited about and subscribe if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off obviously we got this little preview for tomorrow's episode which features obviously a marsh tomp and then like i say we have the four titles to go over and then we're going to finish today's video off with the new mini trailer for the upcoming Pokemon movie, which I'm very much excited about. It looks really, really good. Obviously, they did just have that new TCG card come out um, to kind of come out with it. It was it was weird, like the character Coco um, is like a grass type or something. I don't even know. It's kind of mad. But yeah, that was revealing Korra Korra, which we went over in yesterday's video. Anyway, here we are with the preview. So obviously, it starts off with this Marsh Tomp. Um, and he's just he's just chilling in the ground, you know. I don't know how he can be enjoying this. He looks very uncomfortable, but he's still smiling. He's still having an absolute fantastic time. And then obviously go and Ash find it. I don't know if like it's going to be caught this episode or it's just going to be like one of those random Pokemon they help out a situation that it just goes on about its day. But it looks pretty much trapped in this uh, in this earthquake right here. But uh, like I say, still smiling, still enjoying life. Uh, and then after that, we have all of these uh, Marsh Tomp that are just kind of just chilling. They all look upset. I don't know. Maybe it's about the Marsh Tomp that's trapped in the ground. Also, why is there so many Marsh Tomp? It's just a random Pokemon. Like, I know that, like, Eludicolo also features in this episode, and it could just be, like, a throwback to Brock's team. Uh, but it's just weird. Like, I, th I would have thought it'd be, like, loads of Mudkip or something. Also, we don't know if this is set in Hoenn or not. Um, we, we, we have no idea. This could be set in Galar technically because obviously the Mudkip line is going back in the Crown Tundra, but it is most likely going to be set in, uh, in Hoenn. But anyway, they all look, uh, they all look a little bit sad about it. And then we have Team Rocket looking at Pikachu on their TV, you know, because they're a, a fan of it. <laughs> Air all week but yeah they're all they're all looking at pikachu on the tv um uh, i think P i think team rocket are like ill or something and they're just kind of like going over their plans to catch pikachu or something like that uh, and then we have them here they look a tiny bit ill i guess they look a little bit like annoyed uh, and wobbuffet is just there just chilling surprise wobbuffet still in the anime to be fair um but yeah they, they do look ill you know i think she's got a cold or something i think james has got a cold i don't know um but uh yeah but i think that's why they're kind of just cooped up inside their little base in uh, in the next episode um but yeah they're definitely ill you can see me out here he's not looking very good he's looking very worse for wear um you, you already know when they got these like little purple things under their eyes it means they're not very well also it's just kind of crazy that these horn things just kind of like flop over when it's uh when it's ill but i rate that he's wearing a mask good stuff from Meowth. that's very very good uh and then we have pikachu here carrying a leaf with water I don't know whether that's to make the Marsh Tomp more like slippy or something so they can grab it or whatever. But then Ash just starts drinking it. He's a little bit thirsty. He's like, oh, is that some nice water? I'll have a bit of that. So he's, he's not thirsty anymore. And then we have a Ludicolo here just chilling. You know, he's just having a little dance, a little giggle, whatever. And that's pretty much the preview. That's that's what it is. So, um, uh, yeah, like I say, it doesn't look like a crazy episode. I don't think they're going to catch Marsh Tomp. I think that'd be kind of crazy. I don't think it'd be Ash either if someone were to catch it. It'd most likely just be Go. Um, even though he has just got, obviously, the water type being Subble. But, um, yeah, it looks more like a filler episode just leading up to, to the darkest day, which, uh, of course, we're very excited for. But this is the synopsis for the episode, which obviously is tomorrow. Uh, it says, uh, Jesse and James, who have this far been relying on Nairas' interpretations to understand what Satoshi and Pikachu talk about, decide to train themselves so they can understand it on their own. This airing will also include half new Mucro. Oh, so that's what they're looking at the TV for. They're trying to understand Pikachu, because, obviously, Meowth isn't very well. Um, so they're like trying to understand Pikachu so they can, I, I guess, just try and hopefully catch it a little bit better. Uh, but then we have the actual blurb. The Rocket Gang, uh, Nyoth is laid up with a cold. Um, Musashi and Kojiro from the Rocket Gang, who have this far been relying on the interpretations to understand what Satoshi's Pikachu talks about, decide to take the opportunity to train themselves so they can understand it on their own. To do this, they watch video footage of Pikachu that they've secretly recorded and dub over it. And then it says, in a forest after a rainfall, Ash and Go encounter uh, Numacrawl, which I think uh, Marsh Tom, that are stuck in the ground. And while the duo is doing its best trying to do something to help them, 
uh, Run Popper appears before them, which I think is El Ludicolo. Um, and then, yeah, the, 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 the comments are kind of just saying, um, you know, it doesn't think they're going to get caught or whatever. So, uh, yeah, just pretty much just a filler episode at the, uh, at the end of the day. Anyway, the week after that, October the 23rd, we have the episode titled Sword and Shield 1, Slumbering Wield. So Satoshi and Go visit the Galar region and on their way to Professor Magnolia, the leading authority of Dynamax research, when they encounter a mysterious Pokemon in a misty forest. Um, so one night, Ash spots the Dynamax band he got from uh, Leon, the strongest Pokemon trainer in the Galar region, suddenly starting to glow on its own. Meanwhile, the Galar region has been experiencing a phenomenon where Pokemon are Dynamaxing in places where it's normally impossible for them to do so. To solve the Dynamax mystery, Satoshi and Go decide to visit the Galar region and see Professor Magnolia, the leading authority on Dynamax research. But on their way, there are a duo uh, got separated while in a forest shrouded in thick mist where they encounter some mysterious Pokemon. So obviously, it's going to be the Zacian and Zamazenta um, situation. So I think this is the episode that um, starts the uh, the Sword and Shield kind of Darkest Day um, segment. So it says, now that the Pokemon anime is moving into the golden time of the golden day, it breaks into its pocket monsters, Sword and Shield chapter. Uh, Satoshi and Go have gone to the Galar region, the biggest adventure. Uh, and it says, the Slumbering Wield, where the beginning of the adventure in Pokemon Sword and Shield takes place, appears. Does that mean Satoshi and Go will meet a certain duo of legendary Pokemon? And it says, two mysteries, Pokemon appear in a forest. Uh, Satoshi and Go have gotten separated. Sony Professor Magnolia's granddaughter and assistant appears as well. There's a hint of a scheme and rose in the other's tail. The battle between the Kyodomax Pokemon is a must-see as well. So, uh, yeah, Zan 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 and Zacian are basically appearing in the, in, in, uh, the episode 42, which is airing on October the 23rd. Um, so that's really, really cool. It's finally uh, going to happen. And then the, after all the episodes after this are just going to obviously be like the well, the four, well, the three episodes after this are obviously going to be included in the Darkest Day segment. Um, one of those being the one that's taking place on October the 30th. It is titled Sword and Shield 2 Black Knight. Um, so obviously no uh, synopsis about this, no information, just the title. Um, and that's pretty much all we can go off with that. And then, of course, the week after that, on November the 6th, we also have a title, um, which is uh, Sword and Shield 3, Mugen Dana. So, obviously, it's titled Sword and Shield 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and then that that's really it. The, the comments uh, saying, just pointing this out, but November 11th is a Wednesday. Obviously, it's now releasing on a Friday, so I'm not sure why that's a thing. Oh, never mind. It was a typo. Uh, it's only one new episode title released today. Interesting. Yada, yada, yada. So, like I say, not a lot of information about those two episodes, but I'm sure we'll get some information about them uh, very, very soon. So, that's basically all the stuff to do with the Pokemon anime. But, of course, we also have a new movie trailer for Pokemon, the movie Coco, which, again, we don't know when it is coming out. Um, I, I think it might already be be out in japan i think i'm not 100 percent sure i think it is because obviously like zarud was available and everything but yes yeah, still isn't available in like the uk or america or whatever um but like i said this little 40 second trailer did just pop up of course i'll link it in the description down below i can't play it all the way through just as we couldn't with the first preview because of obviously copyright reasons and stuff like that um but basically uh this uh this starts off like panning over a, a like a diff like a city um i'm, I'm guessing like this is probably um once uh, Ash has basically got Coco because obviously he meets him in the forest and I, I think he brings him into civilization for a little bit just to teach him about the outside world because obviously Coco has grown up um, very closed off from the outside world. He's, he's more of a Tarzan situation. Um, so obviously this is him discovering ice cream for the first time. He's loving it, by the way. He's absolutely having a great time on that. Uh, random Pokemon in the background, just a Muna. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, he is just enjoying that ice cream. He's got a lot of different flavors there. Uh, and just, just notice how he's like sitting and stuff like that. He's not sitting normally just like ashes. He's kind of just perked up. Um, just as like, I don't know, like a monkey would or something, you know, just like very animal, uh, animalistic that his like stance are and stuff, which I think you're going to see a lot throughout the movie, especially at the beginning, because like I say, he's, he's grown up in a forest his whole life and he's, you know, when you grow up around like animals, just like the Tarzan, you're going to take on like their characteristics and what they do uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how he's basically, um, chilling. And then we, uh, come over here to, uh, it looks like a park or something and a bunch of Pokemon. We got, uh, Zuelus there. We got a Krabby, Pikachu, Poliwag, Azumarill in the background, another Moona. So I don't know why Moona's popping up everywhere. Uh, but yes, this is, um, uh, I don't know where they're going towards. It looks like it's some sort of like big event or something uh then we have coco again just uh looking very puzzled around him it looks to be some sort of fighting event there's obviously machamp there there's uh him on top him on lee and a tyrogue so i'm guessing there's some sort of like big pokemon competition or something just like in the last movie with lugia where obviously they have to catch like the, the biggest pokemon or something and obviously that guy cheated and ash calmed down the tyranitar and got second place or whatever should have won but obviously didn't 
Um, and then we have an actual battle taking place. So we have a Ferra Thorn here taking uh, a battle against uh, a Cinderace, which is cool. We have like a Generation 8 Pokemon here, and they're just battling. I love how there's just random Pokemon in the background. It's so cool. All of Alakazam there, got Chinchino there and stuff. I don't know. It just be, it's just kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we have a Cinderace basically battling uh, the Ferra Thorn, uh, and then obviously Ash and Coco just taking a look. Again, still not sitting normally. He's. I love how they've included that. They've like included his animal characteristics and like even when they're sitting and stuff like that it's really really cool um but yeah they are basically just battling here i, I mean this is a very unfair matchup cinderace is absolutely going to take ferrothorn to uh to the market and destroy him which i think he does i think he uses a pyro ball and just absolutely destroys him really and then uh yes he does ferrothorn is, is is he's not he's not getting up that's for sure he is he's donezo we've got a sneasel there looks here there all good stuff machop there um, and then I think it pretty much just finishes off with um, uh, like Coco and Zaru just chilling. So that's pretty much like the little movie trailer that we had for that. Uh, like I say, it doesn't show a lot of information. Again, sorry I couldn't show it, but due to copyright reasons, I can't. But like I say, this will be linked in the description down below if you do want to go check it out. But I am excited for this movie. It does look really, really good. And uh, yeah, obviously, I want that Dada forms a rude as well with the pink scarf. It looks really, really cool. But uh, that is pretty much going to be everything for today's episode. Uh, well, episode or video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, obviously... What do you think about the whole anime stuff? What episode are you most excited about? And of, of course, are you excited about the movie as well? Uh, and also, do you like Zarude? A lot of people don't like it. I've, it's still not grown on me yet. I'm still not a huge fan about it, but maybe it will eventually. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. And make sure to leave a comment as well. And subscribe if you're brand new. Do daily Pokemon content on this channel. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.